The thing that I want to talk to you about this week is about our SharePoint connector, which is now in beta for every customer to try. This is part of Lakeflow as part of the ingest, um, and this allows you to connect to SharePoint sites and also to the drives as well. So if you want to be able to ingest, you know, documents, PDFs, PowerPoints, Excel files. This is something that you are now able to do straight from SharePoint without needing something like an S3 bucket in between with that extra step. It has site level isolation and a site maps to a schema um, and then a drive to a particular table. And so within that table, uh, you'll have the file ID, the metadata, the source of the metadata, the actual content itself, um, the sequence ID, and also any deletions for kind of uh, SCD2 stuff. So if you are doing work with chatbots or if you're scooping up a bunch of CSV files uh, and you don't want to have that extra step in between, this is a really good feature. Nice. Is it, uh, sorry, I probably missed this at the very beginning. This is part of Lakeflow, so this will appear in the UI. You said API only, but this will be just like one of the, like the Salesforce connector we have, like this is where this lives. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, got it. I guess I'll just draw exactly what the feature is, exactly what you said. <laughs> Drive my SharePoint is kind of drives, I guess, is the thing that I can write. That's the specific thing. Yeah, so site, so SharePoint site max, maps to a schema. Schema. And then mm -hmm. the drive maps to a table. Now I'm wondering, because now I have a Databricks square, which could be an infinite number of things. There we go. Yeah. Okay. We don't really have a contextual use case yet. Well, we'll build our pipeline and then decide what we need to use it for later, like all good <laughs> architects.